it's really cool to see official support like that. Mm -hmm. Pretty much so. I, I cannot wait to see how Jordan plays this out, especially seeing them in person in Genesis 8, which was one of their big uh, appearances so far. Oh, yeah. That, that's very interesting because, I mean, both these, both these, I mean, I guess it's workshop, so everyone's a Wi Fi warrior, but Jordan has <laughs> actually been seeing results at big events, but Dakota has been kind of an infamously strong player mm. in. Oh my Auckland. god! <laughs> and the Uppy! <laughs> Getting that early start. Wow. So, I wasn't uh... even, I was not ready for that to go that, go that quickly. Seeing the so, command uh... grab come out. So Big but, Yoshi kind of plays similarly to King Dedede, but we have a boost mechanic, which is their flowers, sunflowers. I'm pretty uh, sure they refresh every stock. Yeah, they're cookies, because they're from Yoshi's Cookie. Ah! <laughs> see? Um, as you see there, losing the stock, it replenishes their cookies so far. Getting the parry there. Uh, Dakota does really well against parries and jab baiting them. They just have like a reflex or just an instinct knowing that you're gonna be doing a parry. Yeah, this has already kind of evened itself out, even with that really crazy first stock. So, very excited uh, to see where this goes. So, Big Yoshi kind of plays similarly to King DDD. Uh, I don't know how it's going to look out for Yuto, just because even though he has a good projectile, Yuto just carries a bunch of them in their arsenal. Yeah, it's like, as far as I know, like, the the egg is definitely annoying, but it can be beat out by other projectiles. Mm. And Yudo has a way to, like, we just saw it there with the fire. They both traded there. And Yuto has a way to fire with that rock. She can fire a bunch of lasers out of it. Mm -hmm. which, which tracks in the first position, which is too good. Yeah, Big the fire punish time. Oh, and we see that and in the sugar crash. Uh, that's wow. something else about those, about those cookies they do give big yoshi significant speed buffs but after they run out big yoshi is put in a sugar crash for a while where they're slightly worse yeah the but, the sugar ooh. crush yep, the yeah and there's there's the sugar crash so they're gonna probably they, play a little more defensive oh but the forward air yeah the, just that forward air is so big it just comes out of nowhere yeah, Yudo, in this matchup, Yudo's very, very good at controlling the mid-range, actually. Because Big Yoshi's got that really nice projectile and everything, but... The down tilt uh, and the dash attack also goes really far. <laughs> which I think is throwing Jordan off. We see even right there. Now they're overcompensating for the distance. Dakota's yeah, but... setting up great distance play here. Oh. Oh! Barely gets back. Okay. I was I was waiting for the up B there. I was terrified we were gonna see another really early stock. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh oh. And then Eric kicks the kicks the rock away. Uh oh, Ooh. this is gonna be it. Up strong. Yep, that'll take it. Amazing play by Dakota there, just that spacing in general. They just know like how to play around Yuto's tools, even though that Jordan can angle like the fire flames and most of their projectiles. You can yeah, see here certainly. with the early up B, not even we're, letting them breathe. We're seeing this is very much a game of footsies that both these players are, and it takes a lot of skill in a game like Workshop where you have to really adapt to stuff on the fly. But both these characters are getting very good at learning where their opponent's ranges are mm -hmm. and taking advantage of that. Like right there with the just spacing out the parry. And I think like Dakota knows like the knowledge check on YouTube, Yuto, just because they're an old Workshop yeah. uh, player. Parry That's and deep. then into the punish there. Mm -hmm. Just lots of just lots of stuff like that that just adds up. Mm -hmm. um, like see that there too, but it still wasn't enough, but you just see it. Even though even though Dakota died there, you can see just respecting the fireball like that. And the and upbeat, get back on stage, almost parrying yeah. again too. But and yeah, it returning gets the, the favor. Parry again just yeah, very much knowing when they can punish and when they can't. That's going to make this really interesting as we go on to the next game. It is. very. I would love to see how Jordan adapts to this set because I, I think that they have like a big character knowledge issue in this in this set since Big Yoshi isn't played as much anymore in Modern, uh, modern Workshop. 
Oh, absolutely. This is, I mean, both these characters are fairly legacy. Like they mm -hmm. were some of the oldest, I think they're both, they're either both early 2020 or maybe even 2019. I think they're both early 2020, if I remember mm -hmm. correctly. But I think the hardest part is that even now that, oh, Yuto still gets updated now. thanks to um, revamp uh, mod by Crankies and Slime Puffin. Yeah, that's... Both notable workshop players as well. That that revamp is is very awesome to see because a lot of the modern, a lot of the really cool stuff on this character is in part because of the rework. Like you you saw the command grab there a bit ago with down B, mm -hmm. uh, which is super nice, and that's a recent addition. Oh no, oh. the miss the eye. <laughs> but all those fancy tricks not gonna help you when you have uh, just really strong buttons. And the cookies are strong too, you get a stack of three of them, and they replenish each stock. Going in for yeah. the kill there. Yeah, definitely. The the cookies do a whole lot, but they are risky. So you see Dakota really using those sparingly. Probably gonna see another one. Yep. Looks like I, Dakota seems to really like the cookies for the early stock because of the yeah. fact that you can just get much better combos while you have them out. And the they sugar don't... crash doesn't like affect it much either because now with lower knockback, oh, the rock yeah. finally getting them. The lower knockback makes it so that it's easier to combo. Yeah, certainly. So it's a, uh, it's just about learning when to use those cookies. And oh, we're seeing that mastery here. Oh, knocks the rock away, but doesn't get the confirm off the top. That could have killed. Great di on Dakota. Oh. Managing to bait out- Oh, the early stock! <laughs> that killed so early! <laughs> I've never seen that move kill- Like, I've never seen that kill like that. I think both players were shocked there to see that kill so early. Yeah, let's- let's see some of this again. Uh, mm -hmm. again, Big Yoshi... Just... Really commanding character here. Just... The big buttons. Mixing up the timings too. Expecting, like... The, uh, Dakota to punish immediately after the roll and just waiting it out. The patience that you have to have to play in like a high <laughs> tension set here is a lot to figure. Yeah, we're, we're just seeing all of those all those buttons come out and just how how heavy hitting. Both these characters really relying on their heavy hitting buttons. That rock is also just brutal. Yeah. And then of course we saw this again here too where yeah. that uh Nair into up air. Yeah. Up air is, is pretty powerful, but it's not that powerful. Surprisingly, that just killed the 106 and putting Jordan into losers.